two contestants for the first round today will be Harris from Golazo Football. How do you intend to be 
top of the app mailing list. Uh, very great mistake, Dato. Uh, unfortunately, we are not a gaming app. We are an app uh, to encourage people to play football and futsal amongst each other. So we are not a gaming app. Uh, we are more a social app. What makes us different from Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp is that uh, we are focused niche on football and futsal only. And we use gamification features to make this sport more interesting. For example, after a game, you can update your results. And this result will automatically update your player statistic team statistic and then your teams will earn points and this point will become a ranking system. This is something that has not been done in any part of the world yet. So it's very very interesting. Any footballers, they get football orgasm when they hear our, our idea. Thank you very much. Okay, Anyway, education. How do you intend to beat the mark this conspirators and we not talk on this? Okay, selama ni, if we are talking about uh, ASEAN content, belum lagi. I have friends uh, who don't even know the difference between Asian and ASEAN. So, because of our championship and the formation of ASEAN in 2015, we want to ensure that the future generation will become a community of ASEAN citizens that understand each other and are friendly uh, with one another. We understand each other's culture. So, uh, that's why we have... Uh, now, because you are staring at me, I forgot the question. <laughs> so deep! How do you intend to uh, fight the competition to be on top of the list? Okay, selama ni, everyone yang buat content, dia buat country-centric punya content. So, dia tak ada yang buat on ASEAN wide punya content. And the only competitor sekarang habis, is... Habis! 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 Dia cakap atas mereka lah. Anyway, so can you please tell us your revenue model? How do we get to charge people? Eh? And how do we get to collect the, the payment? Okay, for now, um, I am thinking of... Um, I want to tell my $1 story. I want to make $1 per book for 160 million population of children under 13 in the entire ASEAN. Kalau I dapat 1% pun, 1 million. $1 story. Tetapi, um, Kalau tak dapat, uh, kita akan move slowly lah uh, in terms of getting sponsorship, going from country to country, sales. We will do sales or corporate sponsorships. Typical focus. 1%, 10%, 100 million. 1 million. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Ah, ni pula ni. ni. Siapa nak bayar punya ni? Ni yang potong apps ni. So what's your revenue model and how do you tend to charge people ni? Okay, so we have four revenue model. The first one is we get commission from booking of courts referee and fields. Uh, the second one is by selling our tournament solution so any tournament organizer can use Golazo as well. The third one is by listing all these uh, insta shops uh, that selling football and health related product. And finally, because we have a ranking system, one is like when there's like thousands of teams on it, that ranking system will be very, very valuable. So we can do something like uh, uh, change the name to 100 plus ranking. So it's more like sponsorship slash advertisement. Thank you. Oh, okay. Let's go again. You got your 50,000 from middle? Huh? 150. 150,000? Wow, that's a lot, huh? That's a bad, bad, bad. You're bad, you So how much more do you need to complete your project? And what is the uh, uh, ROI, uh, the, the rate of return? When can you get back your, your revenue? All right, so I know Cradle uh, have, pro, uh, have a 500,000 grant, but we're not asking for half a million. So actually, to finance our 18 months runway, we need uh, 250,000 ringgit. So it's to do more aggressive marketing because we're traveling in KL and Selangor only, but we want to reach to other parts of Malaysia throughout the whole Malaysia. So we need that 250,000 to hire more, uh, bigger teams, to do more sales, to reach out to more teams, referee and courts, and also to further improve our product to enhance our features. And also, if we have uh, more funds, we want to go into Singapore as well. Thank you. So you, when I put grand, Bloom. So how much uh, do you need for your good investment? And when will you get your first million? Um, currently, if I go on the basis of I want to reach every single child in Malaysia 1.5 million, I actually need uh, 5 million. Uh, tetapi, if we actually only get it as buku wajib in school, then 1.5 million. Tetapi kalau tidak, then we will probably go with uh, maybe 200,000 copies or 150,000 copies first, which I can still cover right now. Uh, from the grant that uh, I have received, 
uh, buat sebagai buku um, library copies first and then before we start getting more and more income uh, and then we will pay three orders So, kata kata apa tu? So, what do you need to do and apa alternative funding sources tu? Uh, first of all, nangis sekejap <laughs> But, um, without, sorry, I didn't answer the ROI question again So, ROI will be within three years Um, if we do not have enough, uh, we do not get any funds, we will do marketing at a slower pace. We have uh, lesser people, we have smaller teams, so we have to, uh, the marketing will be a bit slower, uh, will be less aggressive, uh, but will be still effective. Probably we, we will only be in four stage at the end of 2016, but we're still moving and will be more organic growth. Huh? We will use the profit that we have in order to put back into the company in order to have bigger growth in year three. Are you there? Faham ni tak ada? This is too much? Oh, 1.5 pun tak ada? Uh, ha, 100 pun tak ada? So what do you need to do and what's your ultimate plans? Then we would have to start with uh, selling the books uh, to international schools first Baru kita boleh go on on the bigger scale of reaching out to every single child So maybe through more corporate sponsorships, uh, we can do CSR programs, training programs uh, to reach out to these schools uh, So last question Can you please tell me your master's to go for national market? So the milestone, the first market we want to enter will surely be Singapore because it's a very, uh, Fusa is very very famous in there and it's a very very mature market so in 2016, if we do get funding, we want to go into Singapore after that will be Thailand and the biggest part we want to go is of course Indonesia because uh, they have millions of football players there Is that is the part of goal Thank you very much Alina, I, I, I see that you are targeting ASEAN yeah, targeting. So, if you target ASEAN, the rest of the world yeah. Can you tell me your masters to go to the rest of the world? Okay, master of the rest of the world is uh, one of my council members now He's also the president of the Malaysia Board of Books for Young Children So, Mimon, this is something that he wants to put at an international level So that our level of literacy, uh, they can show that oh, Okay, this is Malaysia's level uh, of literacy So, so far, uh, since my launch, uh, by the end two weeks ago, uh, I have received orders from Berlin, from Australia, from Philippines, uh, and some uh, from America, whereby they are quite interested in this type of content for children. Great! I'm going to fire up. Go on. Take it. So, you know, you're going to get to the house and you're going to get to the house. Oh, my God. That's why you're going to get to the house. So, We've had uh, Hari from Golazo Football and Nick Adina then that. Judges, do you have questions for our participants? One, uh, to the okay. uh, what is your target market and why? My target market is children. What because uh, from the age under 13. Uh, because right now I find that most content that is done are for youth, SMEs, as well as corporates when it comes to ASEAN knowledge. Um, and the real future of generation of ASEAN, which is the biggest bulk of it, are for children under uh, 13. And this amount, every year there will be children becoming 13 years old, 12 years old, so that's why uh, my plan is longer, uh, on a longer term, which is to build the next generation. Within 10 years, they will be the future of ASEAN. Right, any more questions from the judges? So with that, judges, it is now trying to make your decision who will continue on to the next round and who will have to re-evaluate the next step. On the count of three, one, two, three. So with that, congratulations, Yadina from Content Lab. You are the winner of this round. Bro, all the best. Hope your football business works out. Great idea, I like the gamification part of it. So, with that, we will be going to the second round in another two minutes. We have a quick break just to organize the ranking. So, with that, Karami, we have Zaina from uh, Game Taiko. We have Mohamed Fareh from Happy Chef App. We have Fazli from MAOB. And as you just saw, Nick Adina from Content Lab, who will be going on to the second round. So with that, don't go anywhere. Bagi yang tak ada waktu, sila jemput. Banyak tempat duduk kat dalam. Don't worry. Kita akan mula balik dalam 2 minit sahaja. Quick one. So don't go anywhere. Stay cool. We will be starting in a very short time. Thank you very much.